pollution control measures introduction pollution is the addition to the ecosystem of something which has a detrimental effect on it one of the most important causes of pollution is the high rate of energy uses by modern going population different kinds of pollutions are air pollution water pollution land pollution first one is air pollution air pollution is the accumulation in the atmosphere of substances that in sufficient concentration endanger human health or produces other measured effects on living matters and other materials among the major sources of the pollution are power and heat generation the burning of the solid waste industrial processes and especially transportation the six major types of pollutants are carbon monoxide hydrocarbons nitrogen oxides particulates sulfur dioxides photochemical oxidants example of air pollution first one is noise pollution noise pollution are unwanted sounds that are carried by the air having an irritating and detrimental effects on humans and other animals careful planning of streets and buildings in towers and better control over noisy vehicles may add to the control of noise pollution next one is tobacco smoke tobacco smoke is one of the major forms of pollution in buildings it is not only the smoker who is infected but everyone who inhales the polluted air there is a very strong connection between the smoking and the lung cancer bronchitis is common among smokers and unborn babies of mother who smoke also suffers from the harmful effect of smoking next one is exhaust gases of vehicles pollution causes from the exhaust gases of the vehicles is responsible for 60% of the air pollution and in cities up to 80% There is a large variety of harmful chemicals present in these gases with lead being one of the most dangerous. The next one is combustion of coal. The combustion of coal without special precautions can have a serious consequences. If wind do not blow away the poisonous gases, they can have fatal effect and may lead to death. The next one is acid rains. Acid rain is the term for pollution caused when sulfur and nitrogen dioxide combine with atmosphere moisture to produce a highly acidic rain snow hail or fog the acid eats into the stone brick and metal articles and pollutes water sources The second type of pollution is water pollution. Water pollution is the introduction into the fresh or ocean waters of chemical, physical or biological materials that degrades the quality of water and affects the organisms living in it. This process ranges from simple addition of dissolved or suspended solids to discharge of the most insidious and persistent toxic pollutants. Examples of water pollution industrial effluent water is discharged from after having been used in the production processes this wastewater may contains acids alkalis salts poisons oils and in some cases harmful bacteria next one is mining and agricultural waste mines especially gold and coal mines are responsible for large quantities of acid water agricultural pesticides fertilizers and herbicides may wash into rivers and stagnant water bodies the next one is sewage disposal and domestic waste sewage as well as domestic and farm waste were often allowed to pollute rivers and dams control measures 
even intelligent people should be wise enough not to pollute water in any way by research and legislation the pollution of the water bodies even though not entirely prevented must be effectively controlled and third category is land pollution land pollution is the degradation of the earth's land surface through misuse of the soil by poor agricultural practices mineral exploitations industrial waste dumping and indiscriminate disposal of urban waste it includes visible waste and litter as well as pollution of the soil itself example of the land pollution soil pollution soil pollution is mainly due to chemicals in herbicides and pesticides litter is a waste material dumped in public places such as streets parks picnic areas at bus stops and near shops waste disposal the accumulation of the waste threatens the effects of the people in residential areas waste decays encourages household pests and turns urban areas into unsightly dirty and unhealthy places to live in it control measures the following measures can be used to control land pollution anti litter campaign and educate people against littering organic waste can be dumped into place far from the residential areas inorganic materials such as metals glass and plastic but also paper can be reclaimed and recycled this is about various pollutions and their pollution control measures thanks for watching this video please subscribe mediquiris